Well, it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. Leah Brennan is joining us this morning to talk about her piece on finding five great places to dance around Baltimore. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. It's so good to be here. Thank you yes, for having we're me. We're happy to have you. I feel like this is a piece after my own heart. Yes, she's ready. I too am she on the hunt ready. for places <laughs> yeah. to dance. Yes. Oh, so Tell us all about it. Well, it was written just for people like you who want to try out dancing in the Baltimore area. And, um, you know, it was a really cool journey, like I just bet. getting to explore it a little bit more. Um, I grew up doing dance team, um, so oh. partner dancing is a little different. Um, and so I think one of the, the really important reminders that stood out to me is just the importance of being present and like responsive to your partner's cues. Um, because I think, you know, when you're on a dance team, you're looking around, am I in line? Am I on count? Oh. And um, partner dancing, it's really about like, do we have a connection? Am I understanding the signal oh. that's being given? Um, so that was a really cool reminder and like so a good way were, to try it again. You were on the hunt specifically for places to partner dance. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I thought that that would be interesting. Um, you know, there was some that I had heard about before, um, like Mobtown Ballroom I'd heard about in college but mm. had never been before. Um, and just had not tried out a lot of venues, so it was great to see some more. Mm. Yeah. So what advice would you have for someone who does want to explore social dancing in our city? Yeah, I would definitely say just having like the open-mindedness around it, like don't be afraid to look silly. <laughs> um, right. I, I think that was such an important reminder growing up because you can, it's very easy to get into your head and just be like, oh, like I don't want to look weird, but honestly that's when it all comes together and you have the most fun. And okay. It's great. And did you have a favorite of the five places you tried? You know, I enjoyed them all so much in different ways, it would be hard to pick one. Mm. Um, but I did like different styles at different ones and oh. had friends with me sometimes and other times went alone. So like it just alone. depended on what the vibe was. Yes. <laughs> Don't be afraid. That. Yes. yes. Part of the process. <laughs> what kind of feedback have you gotten from your story? Yeah. Um, well, something that was kind of interesting was I tried to put a GIF with it with the help of some people at the banner who um, helped me put it together. Um, and I was just doing like this little lasso move on it. And everyone's like, yes. oh my God, I love the GIF. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you can never go wrong with a good GIF, okay? No, I no. agree. I agree. Thank yeah. you so much, Leah. We appreciate it. We'll have to check out the story. Mm -hmm. And if you want to check out this story or others from the Baltimore Banner, just head to thebaltimorebanner.com.